Today on Cooking with Sparky Bill, <laughs> we're going to be cooking fajitas. Fajitas. I'm going to use this whole bag. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I told you we were supposed to do uh, cord reels. No, I know, but I, I got a plug right here, and the cord, I got the cord way over there. Oh. Because I haven't moved. What? Welcome to Sparky Build, where we like to build things, and today we're going to be building this barbecue grill. So we're going to start off. We loaded the design and put our input in. Uh, put our logos in, just change some configurations on how to make it a little bit better and uh, put it in fire control. Now we're cutting out the charcoal tray. Well, we ran into some technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. There we go. We thought the torchite controller was bad, but comes to find out it was just human error. So now we're cutting out the uh, first leg, and this actually has our logo Sparky built in it. And this is the second leg, and this is another logo of ours, Big Family Outdoors. This one's really clean. Torch does just a great job. As long as you put the right perimeters in and, and your, your design is clean, it's going to cut clean. Minimum slag, minimum cleanup. So now we're cutting out one of the sides of the grill and we're about to go fit it just to make sure everything fits. This is gonna be cool as shit. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun, I thought it was gonna be yeah, it is. good and bad, I guess. If we're gonna uh, do any kind of powder coating or oh, yeah, any yeah. of that, we're gonna have to color it off. Yeah, yep. Color it off. Oh, yeah. Mm. That side's looking good. Oh, that side did too, now. Yeah. Hopefully, once it's all together, it'll be a little more sturdy. Oh, yeah. To the bottom slots. Yep. Hooks in to the other side. Okay. And then we put the sides on, and we'll get that shelf that goes on the bottom. Okay. And then the griddle on the grill and the stainless. Awesome. And then it's got those, these right here. Yeah. <laughs> These get that flat shelf that goes between them, right? And they hook on. Okay. All right. Let me go cut another one of these. Guess what we did? We cut another one of those. Actually, we could just cut the side out right there. And boom, done. Pull that out. And then yep. gonna fit, over, the fit the uh, upper shelves together. Upper tray. Sparky built. Oh! 
Hold on. It done had some weight gain. trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Okay. So now we did our sides. We did. Now we're cutting out brackets for the trays that sit on the side of the grill. Pull those out. We actually cut two on the first run and now we're going to move over to the bottom shelf. Cut that out real quick. I want to take that over to the brake press and pretend like the brake press works, but it does not. So we used it as a straight edge and bent the 90s that way. All right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get it out. Let's see. Let's Let's try it from the back side, but I don't think so. Let's try and see if we can get it out. So I'm thinking. Okay. So, instead, on this one, what we'll do. Okay. Yeah. Should have uh, come, uh, come out a little bit. Cause oh, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right, you're right. I'm going to lift up. Good. Yep. That's what we should have done in the first place. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright. Thanks, I need a little more. Alright, give me a... Would you like it louder or softer? What? Harder. Would you like it louder or softer? Harder. Harder. That's the way and all. Who's going in? Should that some slag? So what we're cutting out now is the center divider and the top trays that sit on the side of the ground. This is too cool, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. It slides to the, there you go. That 
That's the coolest. I've been wanting to cut this out for a minute, dude. I gotcha. So. Okay, so this is the final step of our plasma cutting. And what we're doing here is cutting the grill and the grate out on uh, from, uh, goodness, from 304 stainless. And this uh, produces a little bit more slag than the mild still did. If somebody has a tip on a reducing slag from the plasma cutting stainless, this is eighth inch stainless. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And now we have Master Chef Joss cutting up some jalapenos, cilantro, green and bell pepper, and red bell, pe red bell pepper. What else? What did I miss? Onions. Yeah, there's the onions. All right, we got him cutting up the onions. We're going to mix that all together. And as you can see, I'm, as, as the trays come out, I'm actually out in there grinding on the, uh, grinding the slag off. Put the trays on, cleaned them, no. put the trays on, seasoned them, no, no. and there's the final product. Thinking about doing a powder coat on it, uh, just not 100% sure yet to uh, what, what we're going to do. But what do you think? It looks pretty good. Uh -huh. I know. That's pretty cool. Thank you, buddy. That looks good. What do you think of the little bit? That is awesome. Turned out pretty cool. Huh? Oh, wait, that's the one you built? Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought that was that little one over there. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at the other side. Look at the other side. Oh, that's sick. See what it says? Yeah, sparkle. Yep. I'd say that's a uh, a job well done today. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> hey, not bad, not bad. Yeah, get something built in one day and then actually get to use it. Yeah. How exciting is that? It's freaking super exciting, man. man. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> good grill, good food, good company. I think we're doing all right today. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And vegetables turn out good. Mm -hmm. You taste that cilantro on oh, there? Yeah. I love cilantro. I'm going to just put it in there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chopped it up all fine. Yeah. Add all of it mixed in that bag. Mm. Same. Actually, this has a little bit more heat out of it. That's radiant. Well, I think one of two things could have happened. Either we could have used a little more charcoal, like mm -hmm. we said, or we could have started cooking sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we're fucking right. off the plate and seasoning these, mm -hmm. but now it's all seasoned. It just needs to be cleaned and shit. But next time, light it up, right. spread it out, Go. cook, and we'll have another 20 minutes of cooking right there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But probably the next, like a medium bag, that's a small bag of charcoal. Well, you need to hit the edges, huh? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's sharp. Mm-hmm. Pick the grill up real quick, though. Right here? In the middle? Little one. There you go. Oh. Oh, so you don't need to. And that, that length really isn't bad either. No, no. No, because you can use the leverage of it. Right. Yeah. And it fits the shot door. Mm -hmm. My God. Just put in the shot door right now and I'll have some heat. <laughs> I have to put the blood glove on. Nothing. Ready? Ready? <laughs> She's hefty.
Thanks for watching the video and be sure and smash that like button and feel free to subscribe. It'll help us out.